Hi, Hi. dude. Hello. Hey, starting man. the podcast now. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading something on what the What were you reading? We can see it now in your glasses. Oh, yeah, you can. That's great. Wonderful. Can't look at dicks anymore while we're streaming or no, recording. Can't look at dicks. Um, what were you looking at? Well, I was looking up. I wanted I wanted to have time to look this up before we recorded the podcast today, but uh, I didn't yeah. have time. Um, have you heard of Adrenochrome Hollywood? What? Does those words mean anything to you? They don't mean shit Holly- to me. Either. Hollywood does. Well, okay, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> right. I, I don't know. Uh, so, are you? So, what's that first word? Was, adrenochrome see that's what i don't even know i don't know okay um so here's what here here's why this is a word that's in my head though um so yesterday was bread day uh and when bread day happens (laughs) (laughs) i get i get like several loaves and i gotta do something with them so i gave my cousin one and so he stopped by to get his loaf of bread and we talked 12 feet apart um and uh 12 feet yeah, six feet's not enough for me. Like, Double especially it, baby. If we, like animated, anima- animated, and start talking. Like that spittle probably can go more than six. I feel. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, uh, he was on my porch, and I was in the house, and uh, there was also a torn between us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you just throw the bread at him? Did you just chuck I it? I left it on the porch for him. I left it out there, <laughs> and. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> you probably have that screen door locked. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, don't fucking come in here. Uh, oh man, let me tell you what I what I found out. I realized. So I'm gonna sidetrack just a little bit before we get back to him and his crazy shit. Um, I realized. So whenever you whenever you make the bread, you got you got put a cup of the shit in the in the bread mix, right, to make the bread, and then you keep a cup. But that extra, there's always a little bit of extra. You just you normally throw it away. The amount of extra is half a cup. Half a cup is enough to make donuts. So I made sourdough donuts. What the hell do you mean? I mean, it's you, enough. So starter. you actually make two and a half cups and you use yeah, a cup, yeah, you, you yeah, keep you a cup, cup, and then the half cup, you said, I'm going donuts, baby. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, re- I knew the recipe for donuts was half a cup, but I didn't realize that's how much extra there was. Let me tell you, these sourdough donuts, way better a than the sourdough donut. donut? Oh, it's so good. So good. Because sour is a little sweet anyways. Because you, you make it with sugar. Don't, I see it. Yeah, now I got your face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We actually have to, uh, I have to be careful now. I have to like. Right. Yeah. You can't, you can't just be making these, these, these looks. I can't just act with my voice. <laughs> it's it's um, all got to. It's so weird for, seeing yeah, you on camera. Uh, we, we reached the level of webcams or face cams, faces in podcasts. Um, so 20, 2,500 has been hit. How do you, well, it's you only on Patreon. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're still getting the animations, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're still just getting our little characters. They're cute. Right. I feel like we shouldn't. Fuck well, with yeah. That. I mean, Iron Clark made the effort to draw them. They should be used. Yeah. Um, and this is for Patreons can see Patreons, patrons, patrons, mm. patrons. patrons. Yeah, patrons. it is weird that they why why is there an extra I guess patrons.com was taken. So they went to Breon and said, Hey, <laughs> was, was this a good was this a good branding move? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh so that's how that happened. Um so anyways. Sorry, we'll so get made, back to the video donuts. thing. What were we talking about? So, anyways, I uh I I gave him the bread and he came up and He's sitting there and he, I thought he was going to take the bread and go. And that's what I was yeah. prepared for um, because uh, it was late at night and uh, I wanted to go to bed. But um, he goes, so what do you think about this coronavirus? <laughs> and uh, okay. I'm like, well, it's the thing. What do you mean? And uh, he goes, where do you think it came from? Yeah. And uh, I'm like, well, I mean, it originated in China. Um, we know that. At least we think we do. Um, sounds like Wuhan. And he's like, but was it a lab? And I was like, I don't think so. Oh, um, and he just goes in like I, I about 30 minutes into this. I was like, what would it take for you to talk about all of this on YouTube? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, are you are you trying to find a guest for the show? I would. I, that's what I was. Saying. I would love it if he could be on the podcast. He doesn't have a computer. Um, so like, <laughs> he does everything on his phone, all that Facebook and on his phone. What's, um, but, okay, uh, what, what was he spouting? Well, so 
God, there was there's so much. There's so yeah. much. Like he could he could fill this whole episode, and we could just sit here and not talk. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of which, we don't have a guest this week, everybody. Um, Were you just sick of standing after a while? Like fuck. Me, I was I'm sick tired. of standing. I was already <laughs> tired. Like I had told him earlier this week. I was like, listen, uh, the bread's gonna be done after I get done working on uh, Wednesday night. But then last night I was super tired, and so like I decided not to stream. So then I was like, hey yo. Bread's going to be earlier than 1230 at night, and uh, you should come and get it immediately. And he's like, oh, well, I planned for 1230, and like, I'm not going to. So anyways, I, he, he didn't get here until 1130. Um, oh, so I had Lord. to stay up. I was like dying. It was, I like fell asleep on the couch waiting for him and every, everything. Um, but anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it was, I was just on I, your porch. Does it matter? Or did you well, not stick it on the porch? On the porch until like I didn't – I didn't. I threw it in the oven at 11, and so it got done at 1130. Um so it, it 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 was hot, you know. You had to like let it sit you for a while. Didn't let it cool. Yeah, let, yeah, got let it cool. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, whenever he got here, it was just, still wasn't quite cool enough. So I just like s- set it on a piece of tin foil on the porch. I didn't like wrap it up because then it would like sweat, <laughs> you know. Uh, so it's just an open bread <laughs> on the porch. Um, but uh, oh man, the number of things he he talked for almost an hour. I bet uh, the number of things he went over is just it's 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 going to be hard to remember it all. Like. Yeah. Um, so well, what the does virus, this have to do with Hollywood? Well, the, he go in on tangents. Like, oh, okay. fucking, the Titanic was a lie, apparently. Like, I haven't had a chance to fact check a lot of the stuff he said, but this is one of the things he said. He said, he said, what do you think about the Titanic? Like, he was just wild. He was just all over the place. I thought he was, like, probably on, like, drugs or something. He's crazy. Um, like, I would have called it. Like, I, I imagine, like, <laughs> someone just showing up at your house and just ranting suddenly. And, like, if it's, it's the type, type, type of shit you call the police about. Um, but he's related. Uh, so, um, he Dude, sounds uh, awesome. He would, he would be a fantastic guest. I tell you. Um, but he said that, uh, the people that were creating the, that the government didn't want the federal reserve and the people that didn't want the federal reserve what? were part were, were on the Titanic and that the Titanic, he's like, he's like, he's like, do you really think six feet of steel would crush with ice? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it uh, fucking did. Well, no, it didn't, oh, according to him. Oh, uh, right. Uh, it was it was all a hoax, what? and they did it to kill the people that did not want the Federal Reserve. They were the richest of the rich, and they were on the Titanic. And I and I was like, well, a lot of people died on the Titanic. He's like, no, 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 the rich of the rich would have got a boat. They would have got a, a lifeboat. <clears throat> and um, yeah, uh, so oh, this is anyways, fun. apparently. The, the Titanic went down because the people that didn't want the Federal Reserve were murdered, basically, um, so that the Federal Reserve could happen. I guess. Uh, but um, what the? Yeah, that's fuck? how this. That's how the Adrenochrome <laughs> Hollywood thing came out. He was like, "Have you heard about the Adrenochrome Hollywood?" And I'm like, "Uh." Uh-uh. I mean, it's almost like an assault at this point. Uh, that's another reason <laughs> I wanted to keep twelve feet. Uh, <laughs> this is your cousin. Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, there yeah. for bread. Yeah, it was just there for bread. Just and a social just visit. It's a, also a social here. visit, clearly. Um, yeah, I guess. He needed an outlet. Um, at one point, I eventually had to be like, you know I voted for Bernie, right? Like, that's where I lie, I lie in all of this. Because he kept talking about how Trump's going to be the solution. Trump is going to – he's like, he's like, you watch this. Now, you, you remember this. Don't you forget this. Trump oh, is going to come up with something. He's like, he's like, I know he's already he's already trying to get us to listen to him about the um, – what the hell is it? These this mother, stupid motherfuckers taking hydra, hydra uh, chlor- 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 chloroquine, yeah, chlor- oxy hydrochloroquine or whatever. Yeah, it, it, it's got a similar name to one of my grandmother's blood pressure medicines, and I always get them confused like hydrochloroquine. There's no Z in it. I think, yeah, yeah, that's her blood pressure medicine. Hydrochloroquine is, anyways, he's like, he's like, you know, he's already, he's already doing that, and all these doctors are like, no, you shouldn't be doing that, but he's doing it because he knows it's the cure. Um, and he's like, he's like, also zinc, be watching out for zinc. That's another one that, uh, that Trump's going to, you know, lead us to, he's like, he's like, but all these people, and he kept going on about Bill Gates. He said, Bill Gates is making some, uh, oh my God. I just remembered this one part. He said that the fluoride we were given as kids in school was to brainwash us so that we start would, would believe the Democrats. 
um he's like he's like he's like because he, he was like he was all over the place like he was talking about the bill gates is making a vaccine and he's like they tell us about it in the bible they talk about these vaccines and stuff in the bible and, yeah. and how the third eye and he was just saying all these words and like yeah. i don't remember half of it man um weren't there but, seven uh, eyes didn't you tell me about that last week or something no that's the, the lamb and the seven uh, seals se- seals that's it jesus um but uh but apparently like bill gates is making a vaccine that's going to make us a democrat as well um is one of the things that bill gates is doing uh but trump is going to he's like he's like in a couple months trump is going to come up with the actual cure and he's going to come out with it and everyone's going to not see it coming he says when if you listen closely when trump talks he's talking about this he keeps talking about uh the the things he's fighting uh and it's not the virus whenever he says the silent enemy that's a clue to what he's really working on um and it's not the virus like the virus like he's fighting these other people because uh they're trying to stop him from from helping us um is dude's whacked a little bit a little bit um, <laughs> although uh, th- i mean facebook believes this probably when you're in your right. own little well, he facebook talking about bubble. how he shared all this on facebook and people couldn't believe it he said there's some video um that uh, has been taken down by youtube and it's got all these doctors talking about how they got all these letters in the mail saying that no matter what your symptoms were when you came in you had to uh the doctors had to do their best to say it was coronavirus um because they get paid more if it is coronavirus basically uh like they get I think he said three times the treatment amount. I think he said it was 13,000, so they would get 39,000 as long as they labeled whatever your disease was as coronavirus. Um, and there was all these doctors in this YouTube video talking about this thing, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it was, it's a lot. But I was wondering, oh, I don't even know what the adrenochrome Hollywood thing well, is, what but the, he kept yeah, saying what? That just was one of the tangents. Whenever he that was talking cat about, is so fat. Yeah, she's very so, fat. She's, <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> yeah, oh my she's, god, she's, she's a big, big pussy. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, her brother <laughs> is like a rail. He is the thinnest cat because he's dying. Um, oh god, yeah, right. yeah. The daughters can't figure out what's wrong with him. I tried, I did my best. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but yeah, he was kept saying Mel Gibson and uh, Macaulay Culkin and all these people are they're finally coming out and uh, this adrenochrome thing is gonna shut a bunch of stuff down and oh and he went off about Bush and like something about um skull and bones Bush and, uh, the Illuminati that's what oh the Illuminati is the 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 silent enemy I just remembered that um that the Trump is Trump is trying to bring down the Illuminati Trump's um, trying to bring down the Illuminati which Bush is part of. Right. Then they created the coronavirus because this doctor said that the based on the mutation of the virus, it would have taken 800 years since SARS for this mutation to even happen. Um, so it's not possible for this virus to exist outside yeah. of a lab. And it's well, been it like, per, per, well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was good. Sounds like you had a great, how long, this like hour long talk with your cousin. It sounds like it was a very one-sided conversation. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. Cause like, I don't want to be like, man, you fucking crazy. Like, (laughs) I mean, I still want, you know, he's, he's, he's the guy with the guns. Like, um, (laughs) (laughs) so yeah, I did, but yeah, I just kept wondering like what, what I should do. Cause I'm just like, I'm surrounded, man. This is, this is where I live. And That's, like, I will apparently I don't know family. how you end up there. Like, I feel like growing up, he wasn't as smart as me. I'll give him that, but he wasn't wow, a in your horn. Fucking, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting myself on a different situation <laughs> than him. I think it's, you know what I think it is. I think What's it's that? got to do with travel. I think, you know, since my mom couldn't sit still and we moved all the time, um, I think, uh, I think that helped me experience different walks of life and different people and different ways of living in a way that like, is not what getting, he, <laughs> no, 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 he, until like, I think it was three years ago, he left the state for the first time. The um, state. Was, yeah. Yeah. No, he's never left the country or anything like that. He left the state for the first time a couple of years ago. Wow. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I think that's part of it. I think like you get in this, this little small world view and you don't even uh, realize 
Like he was talking about how, oh God, I just remembered another part. It's just so much. Um, Obama was adopted and he's the richest president we've ever had, but we didn't know that because his was adopted parents and like he's the only heir from Goldman Sachs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no for for sure Def- uh, definitely yeah. so uh right. yeah something I'm supposed to look. he gave me a list whenever he left i had a three-point list of things i had to look up and look get up. back to him uh yeah. tomorrow are, are you gonna get back to him or i'm gonna try just so he doesn't think i'm like i, I mean i'm worried wait you're you know? gonna engage here well you're I'm engaging with this st- the main thing he wanted me to, to look up was the adrenochrome thing. And I really thought it would be a good podcast top. Maybe. I don't what actually the know. Fuck I don't is know it? What the, I don't know. I haven't had a chance oh. to look at it. <laughs> oh, this is, you were at the part of the conversation where you're like giving him hints, like leave. Like I'm done with this conversation. Please, Absolutely. please leave. Like, and like, now he's uh, like, okay, well now I'm going to give you fucking homework since you want me right, out yeah, of yeah, here. Yeah. He left, when he left for homework, it was three points. It was, uh, uh, adrenochrome Hollywood, uh, this that doctor lady, she's got glasses and gray hair. Apparently, I'm supposed to find this video based on that. Uh, it's uh, she said he said it's uh, the, one of the type pandemics in the title. So, I'm supposed to find a video with the word pandemic in it and a glasses, gray haired lady. Hey, um, we have a podcast of we have a podcast of literally these people. <laughs> our our listeners are that guy, so they'll no, probably not. find it. No, the people listening to us are not. <laughs> that no they do not they no, do they not totally are. <laughs> what do you mean uh, <laughs> this is gonna be uh, good because now the patreon people will be able to see my jokester sarcasm. expressions but right. the uh the, the youtube audience will still think i'm just a complete idiot. piece of shit <laughs> right right it's good yeah i like uh, it it's a good look yeah, that's I, fun I, I, what was the third one um, you had to look up adrenaline obama crunk. being a uh, um, oh, adopted adopted yeah and the richest president ever um but yeah he started going on about how charitable trump is and how he doesn't take his salary and all this and i was like oh, no that's true no that's true <laughs> it's literally not true I was, I, was like, I was like listen dude you can love trump all you want that's totally fine i mean you have to admit he's a walking moron and that he's not charitable at all. I was like, nothing about that man screams charitable. Like you have to at least admit that, right? Like, look at the man. He's like cheating on every wife he's ever had, blowing money to pay him off of the porn stars. He's not giving money to charity unless that's the stripper's name. Of course he's not. Oh, <laughs> take uh, that one, Brian. I'm calling your cousin, Brian. That's a good name for him. He's yeah. a good, he's a Brian. Um, Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we 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 left. I tried my best to leave this situation without offending him. Um How'd that so. go? It, it went I think it went pretty well. I did <laughs> make because he because he was towards the end, he's like, What did you think of Obama? And I'm like, I loved Obama. I know we're not gonna agree on that, but I loved Obama. Um I was like, I liked it when a president could speak, you know, the language that we all speak yeah. um, eloquently. And uh and it's like, Well, how did you vote now? And I'm like, I voted for Bernie. I'm a Bernie guy. That's Bernie, just Bernie, not Trump yeah. ever. And uh, so we've got that out. I mean, you voted for Hillary. Well, yeah, then he he, he meant now. Oh, well, now right. he didn't bring up Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I mean, that's are we having an election? I, I guess so. <laughs> you keep saying this. Yes, we're having an election. Are we? I think we'll have the election. If we don't but have an election. Nancy Pelosi becomes president. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think if we it, don't have an election, Trump just sits in the house and says, mm-mm. fuck y'all. That's not how it works. Do something about it. I mean, I think that someone will. I don't think that. Stop saying these words. You're just <laughs> you're making people repeat this shit. You're putting it in their head and validating this insanity. You're as bad as he is. As bad as Brian. <laughs> Do you not think there's a world in which Trump would be like, no, I'm not leaving? No. Really? No. I don't believe that's a possibility. He can say that. Are you choosing to not believe that's a possibility? I don't think it's a possibility. Like, it's not possible. But what if it is? It's an impossibility. (laughs) It's not possible. It's literally not possible. It's totally possible for him to say that. He could say it. But then what? He can't do it. 
Well, who He's does it for out. him? Someone removes him physically. <laughs> What if he gets that, enough? Honestly, that would be the best timeline. I want to see him get carried out. What if, but what if all the Republicans are like, no, actually, I think we should, you know, extend the terms indefinitely. That's not a thing. It could be because they control the Senate. No. It, it, it totally no. could be. No. no, no, no. I'm telling mm. you, you've never seen riots like that would bring. I'm sure I haven't. But, you know, I guess I'm like that would be the end of America, basically. Yeah. Well, I think that's I I feel as though that might be what goes through his head. It's either you get me or you get no one. No. I'm not Fox Mm -mm. Fox News. Hello. Uh, Can you see uh, the time? No, that was one thing I was just like, I hate this. (laughs) We're using uh, this software is bomb. Check out this. Good. I hope it's in sync. It's going to be. I. What do you mean in sync? It's going to be in sync. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this even an option? <laughs> the thing is, nobody's going to see. It makes me look what... like I'm the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, uh, cut to this right now. He's going to be using the ISO footage, just of us individually. But you should cut to this right now. Just to see this. Or how about this one? That one's not so bad. I don't like the penguin anymore. How are you? (laughs) I do like this a lot. Jesus Christ. That's that's not a good look for me. That's good. Yeah, no, this software is pretty good. I like it so far. Let's see if it works. How long have I just rambled about my cousin? Uh, I don't know. I guess I can see when the um, video file started. So wait, you don't have the time either? This software is bomb, he says. Bitch, have I got okay. Well, wait. Let me. There's there's so much going on on this screen right now. Okay, at the very bottom, render time seven milliseconds. That's not helpful. No. It's uh, <laughs> oh, I think this is it. Uh, Twenty one minutes forty five seconds for the main recording, which I started a little bit late. So we're at about twenty two minutes. Okay. All right. Should we set a timer? That's not <laughs> I have to actually like bolt at three today. So like we can't go. What super the hell long. is three PM? That's in uh, uh that's two noon. Hours. Yeah. 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 We'll be oh, two hours. Okay, we have time. So we're fine as long as we don't go. We super can't long. do we can't do what we did the last two weeks. Right. Which basically. was not planned. Um, I don't know how we talked for two hours. Yeah. The With premium bash. last yeah. Premium was two hours long. Good Lord. People, Patreon getting their money's worth, I think. Well, now they are. They're getting video. They're getting our faces. That's probably not. Do you think people are going to be pissed off that like we're not putting our faces on YouTube? Yeah. People are always (laughs) pissed off, though. (laughs) They're not always. Are they always pissed off? They're not always pissed off. I don't know. I see a lot of anger out there in the world. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't actually look at the YouTube comments. Uh, really? Do you? Yeah. Are they? Oh, I, th- I think I did the other day because I responded you won't to somebody. See the negative ones. I just block those people. You block them? Yeah. Could you hear that? People that are just saying, not, not now. If they if they had a negative opinion about our conversation, that's fine. But there are yeah. people that come there just to talk shit, basically. Do they talk and shit then, about me? I haven't seen any. But it's like. I can't Open believe Minecraft is putting out Minecraft's putting out this content. No one gives a shit about this. All they do is care trying to get money for Patreon and all this. That's yeah. Just block them. Just block them. Yeah, yeah. We are <laughs> trying to get money for Patreon because we want to run bomb ass charity events. Yeah, that's what's, the thing that's the most what's frustrating. What's fucking is. wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Like I don't think a lot of people understand that aspect that it's for charity. Um, yeah, we don't make any. Even money. though we bring it up all the time, let me tell you what happened. This the reason why I asked you is Ark has been on the damn program is because I, I know I thought so. I was pretty sure, but uh, last week I suddenly after we announced the 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 tier three uh, or tier twenty five dollar tier what what it was and the five thousand dollar thing, yeah. Um, Brian comes to me and he's like, I need, I he had a list of questions. And I was oh, like, God. Yeah, he's like, the people are asking. I'm like, where, where, where are Nobody's asking? asking this. Yeah. And he's like, okay, well, uh, Arcus is asking. Um, and like one of them was like, where does the money go? Um, like 
he was like, oh, he was streaming, and like it is his community was asking, and Arcus was like, I don't know. It's like motherfucker, you've been on the podcast. You Literally. were there. We, we talked about it at the very uh, beginning of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. podcast. So, Podcast season two guest list dot Google file. He was in, he was in episode three. Yeah, well, surely we talked about all of this and we've talked in the discord and stuff about. I mean, I don't know. Brian said that you and I have an intimate knowledge of this stuff and we're not doing a very good job of sharing it with everyone. Who said that? Brian. Like not with them, the Minecrackers, but with. Uh, the audience like the apparently it wasn't clear that we were resetting the map whenever we talked about what we were doing with uh Ooh, no shit I, yeah, I don't think I we have to obvious. say that <laughs> okay yeah, fine do we really need to okay the money made on the patreon <laughs> goes towards the charity events that minecraft runs done number two for $25 you can play on the new minecraft server when it comes out in 1.16 are we resetting the map, Matt? We're obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh. Maybe you know what? Maybe we haven't. Maybe we haven't been. The thing is, these motherfuckers. We kept talking about Patreon so much at the beginning that they were. I, I don't want to hear about Patreon anymore. So we stopped talking about Patreon now. But what about the Patreon? Fucking make up your mind, <laughs> you stupid yeah. bitches! Make up your mind. <laughs> What do yeah. you want? Do you want to hear it or don't you want to hear it? You can't win. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I am saying. Literally what I'm saying. Fuck. You can't win. You can't win. Um, I need to update this badge badge. There's no guest this week. No, that's good. Uh, this is the first time we haven't had a guest since Arcus missed the recording <laughs> for the regular oh, yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get us a guest this week. The options I asked Arcus, I asked Packrat and Honey. Well, Packrat and Honey said they wanted to join, and I said, yeah. "Okay, well, this this week, let's do it." And uh, they they had some of the family related coming up, that's so cool. they could. I mean, um, and uh, Beef said he would join in the near future as well. But we're recording dungeons today, the Minecraft dungeons thing. And beep can't sit in a chair for more than two hours. Um, so he there's cannot so this. much to unpack to everything you just said. Oh my God. <laughs> you just went off. Beef can't sit in a chair. Hold on. I got to write this down. Can't <laughs> sit in chair for more than two hours. Uh, dungeons. I don't even know what that is. Yes, you do. Uh, and We've then about it before. And then there was more that I wanted to say that I just don't fucking. Oh, oh, I do want to say, you know, sometimes I do just enjoy talking to my good friend, Jason. Mm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You too, man. Yeah. It's been two months since we've discussed our lives together without a third party listening in, being creepy, <laughs> you know, like coming in here, trying to ruin our mojo. And, you know, uh, soccer and Brian did say they could join for the next one. The uh, oh, pff, the, great. The well, then that one. oh, there's only five people joining for the next. Oh wait, what? No, for like in like thirty minutes Good. or whatever. <laughs> Is that gonna mess up your software? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know what the fuck I have to do. I feel. Um, I think so. For this software, I think everybody has to get a different URL. Like they get a different call in because. I turn it into a so if it was OBS, it would be uh, okay. a source in OBS is right. the call. Gotcha. I understand. This is some complex you know, looking at shit. Your Christmas and my Christmas. I think it's that's not like I said Christmas. I didn't say Christmas. I, I said, did say Christmas. <laughs> what the fuck did you say? <laughs> crispness. Oh, crispness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're <laughs> using a shitty webcam. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's okay for streaming. But I do think I'm gonna have to set up my uh, my actual camera for the podcast, and I hate it. I mean, I'm using a camera. I know. Uh, yeah, I feel I like that. you should be on this level of quality. I have to get a different tripod for it. Yeah, I mean, it is only Patreons. Patreon. Fuck. It's only those guys that. Um, oh, I had Let's ZenCaster see. open because I thought we might have to might should use it as a backup, but I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hopefully this just fucking works. <laughs> I hope so. It better. Oh God! Can you imagine? I'll, I'll no pod, it. no podcast. If that happens, no podcast. Next <laughs> time, I just fuck the podcast. You just reminded me. So did you, you've seen the video 
if there is no Minecraft podcast, here's why, right? No. Oh God, no! Don't say that. Um, what? It's gone. They got taken there down last week. No. It's what? gone. You can't. You can't. It got taken down. What? It's they. they what is it? Um, it's a, you remember the Zoolander uh, scene where he's feeling all depressed and uh, his friends come and take him out for an orange mm, mm-hmm. mocha cappuccino. Well, someone took that scene and then they overlaid me beef badge and pause on that whole scene. And like, it was so fucking good. It was amazing. Why is well it gone? Done. It got DMCA takedown by who? I we guess whoever owned do Zoolander. It. Oh, Zoolander. Fuck those Cause guys. Cause it's got the whole, it's like the whole scene, except all the characters are like me, beef badge and pause. It's, and it's got like your face so on top well of it. Right. Like, it, like our Minecraft skins. Um, oh, it was so good. Like the scene, well, you know, you know where they get to the gas station and they're just spraying each other with gas. Uh, that was pause badge and beef. And then like, I walk over to the trash can and, you know, like Zoolander sees like the magazine in it. The magazine's got a picture of Kurt on it. Walk into the far lands. The whole thing was just over the top. Amazing. Um, I used to watch cool. it like still occasionally now. Anyways, it's gone. It's gone forever. We've tried to like find mirrors of it. Uh, like we tried to, we tried contacting the guy. We reached out in the Minecraft discord and I think someone posted on the Reddit too. I don't know for sure about that. Uh, anyways, we've, we've taken efforts to re- find this video. Yeah, we need to get that can't, back. Can't, That's fun. Can't it's, it's awful. Huh? History loss. Wow. So I can't believe you haven't seen it. I'm sad. No, I haven't. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't, I'll be honest. I did not really listen to the Minecraft podcast before I started doing it. Um, Because you wanted to at this marathon thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Are we, are we doing a marathon this year? So I actually got an email from, uh, um, Twitch yes, a we're doing a marathon. Ago. We're doing a marathon this year. Well, yeah, we're doing a marathon. Say that. <laughs> yes, yeah, we are. we're doing a marathon. Are we doing a marathon in person this year? That's how I took your question, honestly. Um, and I think maybe, probably not. Um, would you want to go travel in October? I guess for you, you don't have to travel. But would you want yeah. us to travel? Would you to want Seattle us? To, would you want to infect me? Is right, really what, exactly. what you're asking. Like, if we did a marathon in in October, it's like social distancing <sighs> face really? mask marathon. Do you think? I feel ugh. Here's the thing. I, 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 on a wider level, the pandemic's not going to be over. Ever, is this ever leaving? No, like we're going to have this 10 years from now, right? We're going to be getting vaccines for it. People are going to be dying to it. Yeah, it's just it's just add that to the list of bullshit. Right, right, right. right. Mumps, like, so you could still get swine measles, flu, technically, rubella, right? chicken pox, swine flu, whatever the fuck this is. COVID-19. Right. It's just right. going to be one of those things, right? Yeah, so at what point do you say, I'm allowed to shake your hand again? Or are we just changing our culture so much that humans will never shake hands again? That's a, I, that's an interesting question. I think that, um, I don't know. I think like my daughter's generation may phase out the whole handshake thing. Right. Like think, you know what? That was kind of a bad idea. Maybe we shouldn't do that. I don't <laughs> what know. What are they going to do? I feel like, what do you mean? What do you do? You just don't fucking shake hands. I didn't, I, don't, I never liked it anyways. I don't need to touch you. What? It's so awkward. You know, I'd it's, rather give not, someone like a you're, hug. You're meeting somebody for the first time. You... I well, don't. The, I never. Hey, I never that's fun. Liked the that's handshake. actually fun. Never... Uh, the premium is going to be able to see the stupid wave, and the YouTube is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're having way too much fun with this. You're going to piss everyone off. You're making a man. Kind of the goal. I mean, is anger subscribing to Patreon a good thing? Like you're just so hey, fucking hate. hate you're some... so I fucking angry. His way. <laughs> The thing is, you only have to do five dollars to get the wave. It's true. I do feel like this is going to piss people off, but I think it's a thing we just roll with, right? So you, it's you just you just roll with it. I think it's fair. I think I like the animations, and most people, honestly, 
aren't going to watch it on YouTube anyways. I feel like most people are still downloading the audio only and listening to it in their car. That's true. We used to get complaints, in fact, when we did it originally because we would often do things that made it where you had to go watch it on YouTube because we're like, look at this thing. Um, and people would be like, I don't, I'm in my car. I can't, I can't do that. I don't, you want to bring that back? That. Uh, no. <laughs> show and tell where we just silently show things. That's it. An <laughs> entirely silent hour. The only way you can get it is uh, through the Patreon. Right. Things on whiteboards. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, what were we just talking about? I don't know, but I'm looking well, at the, I'm just, for the first America. time looking at these comments. Unwear. I wish these podcasts were even longer. Yeah, they can't be done. <laughs> As a premium member, when I see the one hour and 30 minute plus episodes of the premium, I get so excited. Well, pff, you're not getting excited this week. <laughs> <laughs> how's, um, how's that grab you? Uh, anyway, you were talking about the marathon. We were talking about the yeah, marathon. Okay, yeah. So Twitch wanted to know, basically, because, uh, you know, we wanted to work with them again and do some cool stuff, especially with Sliced. Um and they want to know, so are you going to go together or are you going to do it at home? What's your plan? What's happening? And I basically told them that uh, I'm making a run a show for both options. Um, do we have a, a deck that outlines like how much we've made over time? I feel like we had one of those last year. Do, do you know the thing we have? Like viewership, yes. like all that shit. I know it. Consolidated oh, place. <laughs> I had to yeah. reprocess what you were saying because I was just reading my phone. God, now I can't get away with that. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, he took his phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, my, my, my stream gets on me about that all the time. I'm just like, you know, let's see if there's anyone new on Tinder. What? <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's different doing it during a stream. I just well, feel like, you know, we, like, need to be, like we need to be things. on focus here. Oh, it's, this, oh, so uh, you're saying it's more acceptable on a stream. I'm saying it's very acceptable on a stream to look at your phone. Fuck yeah. On a stream, who gives a shit? You're there for six hours. Like, how long do you well, stream for? Normally three. My average oh. is three. Okay, so you stream for three hours, and you're expected to not pick up your coronavirus-ridden phone for three hours? Do you do you wash your phone every time you take out outside the house? Uh, I use uh, phone soap. What the fuck is phone soap? <laughs> it's like the UV device that you stick your phone in and it just zaps it for an hour. Oh, uh. no, for 10 minutes, not an hour. Uh, it zaps it with UV. The thing that Trump said, why don't we try that on humans? Right. Why don't uh, we that put that stuff, inside of their bodies? Yeah, yeah that yeah, stuff. Yeah. It zaps it with that stuff. It's actually really nice. And it was only like 50 bucks. And like, huh. it's just I assume it works. It's one of these right, things. Like, so you don't really know, right? It's still as sticky as it was when you stuck it in. <laughs> it's just yeah, apparently right. everything's dead. You know, <laughs> I use, uh, yeah, I wash my phone when I take it out. Yeah, you do. You watch it. You wash everything obsessively when you go out there, <laughs> outside. We, we know all about that. Jesus. Are you still opening boxes on your porch and leaving the box outside? Yeah. We had to go today to the school to get um, all the, stuff that was left at school basically mm -hmm. um and so that was interesting trying to bring that in the house what do you mean wait well, all the like, things that was left at school like my daughter's book anything that was in her desk at school and her desk home. she doesn't have a locker no she's in elementary school <laughs> she's not in the 10th grade already <laughs> right no uh so do her yeah. desk do the whole pickup thing yeah yeah that's cool that's so cool <laughs> Holy shit. I miss, like that's like the coolest part of my childhood was like lifting my fucking desk up and having my pencil case. That's good shit. I remember I had this pencil case that I thought was the coolest shit. It was like long kind of and like you like pressed a button on one end and like they kind of like opened up like this and then oh, you had like your yeah. pencils in here. I remember thinking that Oof. that I was just the coolest and like there was like something Dude. on the side. I remember that would pop out. I don't even remember what the fuck it was over there. But uh, hell yeah. yeah. Big yeah. dick moves in elementary school. Having a <laughs> bomb ass. Trapper keeper, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She hasn't gotten to that age yet. Not there's no trapper keepers yet. She just has a notebook. Do they still call oh. them trapper keepers? I'm gonna have yeah, a absolutely. feeling that they don't. No, 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 yeah. There's so I mean, you, well, that's the brand, right? That's what they're. Uh, that's a, oh, okay. Yeah, trapper keepers, I'm surprised the brand. that brand hasn't been sued. Uh, why for the trap card, etc. Memes, <laughs> all right. Uh, the um. That the pencil cases were always a big one. And then, you know, I heard that. 
I'm cutting it off. I, I forgot I'd turn it on so I could get it. My cousin's text us like, no, we got for the bread. Was that it a was, Tinder match? Think, it, no, it was someone going live. Justin. Justin just went live. Oh, well. Don't go over there. Well, oh, they're not they watching this live. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and all if you if you want to, if your parents wanted to show off how big dick they were, which mine definitely did not. <laughs> I brought I brought some seriously. I think it was like second off brand. Um, you know, you start bringing in the nice bottles of soft soap and shit. Do they still do that in elementary school? Where the elementary school is like, yeah, we don't actually get enough money from the government for soap. Right, so just so buy a stuff. Right. <laughs> everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. just Absolutely. brings soap. They still yeah, do that. Yeah. But you know, they also so they, yeah, they do have that. Like, we need your your child's going to go through seventeen boxes of Kleenex this year. Like. No, she ain't. I don't even have Kleenex in my house. I, haven't used, I don't know the last time I saw a Kleenex. When is, when is she using 17 boxes? Uh, um, but yeah, they absolutely still, yeah. But they also have, on top of that now, they have the optional list. Like, your teacher's going to go through 45 ex, ex, Expo markers this year. How many can you buy? Um, and that sort of thing. Do you buy? You you totally I, do. I do. You I, yeah. totally fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, and you go for the on brand, right? You don't want your daughter to look like no, she was raised in like, filth. It's like so you're, bags and stuff. Like, no, yeah. she's getting the great value Walmart brands. Oh, bags. really? Yeah, I don't. Okay, I, I'll, I'll get you a big box, but I mean, you know how to use the <laughs> brand. <laughs> but I am giving her the extra expo markers and uh, I do feel like the big dick parents are like, oh, I'm not just going to get you Kleenex brand. I'm going to make sure that every tissue has a drop of lotion on it. You know, <laughs> right, right. These fuckers that go out and buy like the ten dollar box. I, actually, when I did buy the Kleenex. Kleenexes, I didn't get the cheap kind because I feel like that that matters. Like it needs to be soft on your nose <laughs> and stuff, right? <laughs> like toilet paper. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't ever get the crap of toilet paper. All right, who am like, I kidding? I do buy the lotion things, but that's for me. That's not for a school that is supposed to make money or have money, not make money, but like have it. Right. Do you think at private schools they also have these like lists? I feel like at private schools it's another level beyond because all of these parents have even more money. So they're probably they don't even need a list. They're just like, hello, I brought here's all these things. Here's a bountiful gift for you. <laughs> <laughs> and every day I'm gonna make cookies for little Steven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when my daughter was in preschool. Is there a private school uh, near you? There's tons of private schools. They're all Christian though. That's that's what private school means in North Carolina, Christian school. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's not there is not a private school near me that is not re- associated with a religion. I guess all private schools are. Are, are there private schools that aren't religious? Maybe no, yeah, there's 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 private schools that aren't religious. Um, there's other reasons to send your kids to a school that's exclusive than to give them God. <laughs> <laughs> Put um, the fear of Jesus into them. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what were you saying? Uh, in her preschool, any like event. You'd send like little gift bags and stuff. So like if it was Easter, like you'd send them one for all the kids and Halloween, all those sort of things. So whenever she started school, I didn't know. Like, do I send – what do I send? Do I send the, the, the little gift bags for, for all the classmates like on each event? And um, – Wait, what do you mean on each event? Like Easter. Like it's Easter – time at school or do valentine's day do we right, right. do we well, do valentine's the card day, thing? they kind of they give you the 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 direction right they're like your, your kids should bring and they tell you but then the other ones they don't really say like you know like are people bringing stuff in for halloween or easter or christmas or you know all the other ones because valentine's day they're like you know everyone brings a little card or you know what i mean they sell those things in the st- in the stores that are meant for school basically mm-hmm. uh, but not so much for the other holidays for anything but valentine's day you like did shit for well, other kids whenever she was in kindergarten we didn't really because we didn't know but the class like opens up like if it's the they have a classroom party for all these things too and oh, so you know you go and you can see what happens and uh i'm glad we didn't in kindergarten because like no one else in her class did but since then like every class she's been in has the parents that full on gift baskets. And so we've kind of started doing the same thing. Oh, um, you don't want to be shown up. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I feel like it makes her fucking excited. Maggie's like, oh, mom over there coming in with these hundred dollar gift bags for every kid. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there's, there's this one girl in my daughter's class that wears a new bow every day. 
And I talked to her mom about this. Uh, we were both running the uh, Santa's workshop. And I was like, I want you to know how many damn $20 bows I've had to buy because of your, your daughter. Like, I'm tired of buying bows. Just so you know. Bows? Yeah, fucking bows. <laughs> Kids wear <laughs> bows in their hair? Like, yeah. unironically? Little girls wear bows. Really? Yeah. And if you're a certain child who's now not going to dox, you'd wear a different one every damn day. <laughs> Does your daughter come home being like, oh, Marcy wore a polka dot one today. I really want a polka dot one. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. There's a consignment sale we go to at twice a year. They do it for fall and for, for uh, summer. And uh, we go to this consignment sale every year. And luckily, I got to go this year right before COVID hit because um, I guess it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have – Outside of the consignment part, there's a lady that has a bow shop, and it's just bows for days, like walls of bows. <laughs> and we can't get out of this fucking place when we go Not to do these the consignment. kinds of bows, but like these kinds of bows. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, you go to consignment to save money, right? It's like the flea market, mega flea market of clothing, right? Um, so you go there to save money, and then when you're trying to leave, this bow lady is just there with all her twenty dollar bows. You can't. Yeah. Why are bows so expensive? You don't. You don't have this problem, but it's a. It's they're expensive. Bows I, I are definitely cheap. don't have this problem. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's. Could you make your own? Just go to Joanne Fabrics. Absolutely. Not like, sponsored. We, I need to get into bow making. Really, this is like a thing I need to start streaming. Just bow making. Fuck, I need to be doing it just to sell them. I need to make like an Etsy store. And just <laughs> bows for days. Just sell bows. Dude's I mean, bows. it's just. It's just you get a ribbon. You yeah. cut a ribbon, tie it up, hot glue it to a fucking metal thing, and yeah. boom. There you go. Bow. Right. Bow. Done. Disney makes a fortune on bows. I got so many Disney bows. You know what really? Disney really makes a fortune on is the damn ears, though. It's the number of ears I have. You should see all my ears. You have ears for yourself? No, not for me. I have yes, one. Though. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm sure you have ears for yourself. No, Don't I never worry. bought myself ears. You've never I, bought I, yourself ears. I have never seen any that I was that like jumped out at me that I had to me have. Me neither. I, I, don't I, get, honestly, I don't get on that same level as medieval times at Disney. <laughs> I feel you know like I mean? the ears like, are kind of the cringy. Flag. The ears? Do you, do you? Yeah. Like when I see an adult wearing the ears, I'm like, eh. <laughs> like if they're with a kid, I'm okay with it. But if it's just like a couple and they're wearing the ears, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not there. Yeah. I'm not really I'm no, feeling I it. I mean, I would love to meet a woman that's in, into Disney as much as me. And maybe we could wear the ears together. Okay. I just feel like there. Uh, yeah. Maybe it is just that there's been no set of ears that have been like fuck i want to wear that i've always yeah. been like fuck i actually don't want to wear that <laughs> like, right like i'm not neutral on this i don't want to wear that you know my daughter's uh, uh dance thing does she does have some a, light up ones yeah yeah she got those at disney on ice actually um the some light, light up ones. ones yeah where it's like multiple layers of like plexi yeah and yeah, there's yeah. like three different scenes that flash between them or whatever right right yeah um but her yeah, dance studio Star did a, uh, a fundraiser and they made Disney ears because their dance competition was at Disney that year. And mm -hmm. those are the most elaborate ears I own. Like they were made by a mom basically. And they're like oh, wow. way over the top uh, ears mm. for like different characters, like an aerial one. It's got like a little fork in it and shit. Um, I so. know you can't. She just went to her silverware drawer and was like, <laughs> hey, honey, I'm going to use these. <laughs> uh, the uh, yeah, Etsy's full of them. Yeah, like full yeah. of them, and they some of them are um <clears throat> pretty awful to say that it's just like who's <laughs> buying it's like cardboard <laughs> like who's buying this it's just cheaper to just go to disney yeah uh did you buy your face masks your disney face masks oh fuck i actually completely for did you yeah i did fuck. they're are expensive they still, though they really are expensive did, uh, they get four of them though it's only five bucks a pop five bucks a pop is kind of high right is it? I mean, I guess it depends on what the quality is when you get them. Like, if it's right, super nice, then of, yeah, if they're nice, I guess. But uh, I guess it, the, it depends the on which you're not going to get it till the end of June, by the way. Which child labor they, labor factory in Cambodia they outsource this one to? Right. You know? right. <laughs> how how well can those kids sew? Is basically the the question. Um, so uh, speaking of Disney, my cruise is still on. What do you think? Oh, you think God, it's going to happen? I got to add. There's so much to add to this fucking list. We stopped talking about the marathon. There's just so, like my list keeps growing. Thank God we're doing another hour after this. All right. Um, you are your cruise is still going. 
Yeah. I think you're going on the cruise, actually. Do you really think they're going to do this? So the CDC has a date, right? They have a sale date. Have you seen that? Uh, uh, I think it's July 24th. Uh, sale date where that is the day they are allowing ships to sail again. Um, July 24th. Yes. Well, yours um, wasn't. When was yours supposed to sell? July 24th or 25th. So like right. So then. I think you're going to sail. Uh, don't you're just doing this. I'm I'm halfway not. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think there's a, a, an interesting possibility they might sell. However, it just came out today that on that Disney Wonder. Is that the ship? Uh, there's now 300 infected em- employees on it. I didn't even know about this. What? Uh, I, I, was that today? It was in my, um, you know how, do you have an Android? No. Oh, well, sometimes I, I when you it. swipe, when you swipe left. Um, oh, fuck. It re, it re, it refreshed. When you swipe left, there's all these stories. Can we talk Google AI? It's starting to get to the point of like ultra creepy where I just have a thought and it's like, here's your thought. (laughs) There it is right there. There's your thought. You didn't type this in anywhere. You didn't say this fucking word anywhere. It was just on your mind. And there it is. Um, Oh God, I'm getting a phone call. I'm going to deny it for you. Oh, so uh, I can't find anything on this. The uh, 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 Disney cruise ship. It was the wonder. Wonder. Yeah, when I searched like COVID. Disney Wonder and sick people, it's brought up an article from 2016 when people got gastrointestinal Here it disease. Is. Uh, well, this one was from a couple days ago. Around 200 crew members employed on the Disney Wonder recently tested positive for COVID-19, according to half a dozen employees on the ship who used to rem- who choose to remain anonymous. Yeah, because they don't want to get fired. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, it was 30, six weeks ago, 38 crew members had tested positive, and now it's over 200. I'm going to assume you were going on the Wonder, weren't you? No, we're going on Fantasy, right? Before the before the new one. Oh, no, Magic was, it, was the Oh, it was the Magic. Um, Yeah, actually, I wonder if this thing has a chat. I don't think it does. I don't know how to, I wouldn't know how to yeah, chat with you. Well, I wouldn't know I'd, on my software. I wouldn't know how to uh, even see that. Does that pop up anywhere when I just typed? Uh, no. Okay. Cool. At all, it it really actually, you would think it would. Uh, yeah. good paste. Um. So yeah, I mean, they have two hundred now crew members. Maybe it's kind of unlikely. Uh, that they end up opening. I'm gonna guess. Um, I don't know. I I am terrified. You terrified? I can't believe that you booked. Do you booked excursions? You told me. I did book excursions because that's what you. Did. I mean, what what would you have done? What do you Not mean? I mean, I didn't. Like I didn't. had the ability to book excursions for a few days, and I just didn't. Oh, well, like, you know, the first one I had, I didn't do it right away either. I was like, well, I'll, I'll get around to it. That was even whenever I didn't even think I thought it was going to like I didn't, you right. didn't know about coronavirus. Um, what I was surprised whenever I opened up the thing, like, honestly, I was paying more attention to it this time, I guess, because like I was like, all right, it's going to be canceled. It's going to be canceled. It's going to mm-hmm. they're going to cancel before the excursion stuff. And then it came up that I could book excursions and I started looking at it. And like I looked at it the night it opened up, basically, like it's opened up. You can now book excursions and all the on ship stuff sold out the moment it went live so i don't even know how the fuck that works like is there like certain what? cabins where you can book earlier like it like you know if you stay at certain hotels at disney you can do your fast passes earlier um like that's all true. the like wine tastings that's also all the, cool as shit um that's the only I way you can wish, get a fast pass for avatar i guess i do wish that they just did they just went full balls to the wall and just did the universal stuff like just Where let me buy it. Fast passes. I'll but let yeah. me pay double the price of the ticket to the park, and I'll just buy it. I guess. I mean, I definitely did that last year at uh, Universal. Um, 
Hell yeah, and it's awesome, right? When you do it at Universal, you're like, fuck, this is the greatest experience ever. We literally rode every single ride my daughter was taught yeah. to ride in one day. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, like, yeah, I was. feel like it actually saves you money because you don't have to add on more days to do everything. It saves you stress, too. Like, absolutely saves you. Like, yeah. I remember, like, because, uh, I mean, you know, like the, uh, the Escaping from Gringotts ride, that line, that line is the longest line in history. Like, it's 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 almost as long as Avatar, basically. Um, explain the queue so i've actually never stood in that queue besides the fast pass line what is the queue like like does it go through scenes because i know the yeah. one in the castle you, know, you start like well the fast pass line starts fast pass, you just go in the bank right yeah you go and start start in the bank before that there is nothing you don't you oh. don't get to experience anything the, the, the greatest really? experience outside of the bank is the lady selling the, the frozen lemonade what do you mean the lady selling the frozen lemonade? They have little kiosks where they sell you water and frozen lemonade because you've been in oh, line this is for real. two fucking hours. Yeah. <laughs> I was well, like in the castle when you're when you're below Hogwarts, even right, the fast yeah, pass line, it goes it goes through the same ish path that right. everything else. So I've kind of experienced that. And there's like a whole lot of theming. Right. But you're saying the other one, there's just a lady selling you frozen lemon. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you're outside of the bank the whole time. There's a long ass line. It is covered at least, but uh, yeah, it's it'll, the longest line ever. Um, wow. You know, the the first year we went to Universal, we did mm. not buy the Fast Pass. My daughter was, was younger, and all she really cared about was the uh, Harry Potter stuff. Um, and it was me, Crystal, and her. And we stood in the line for the castle stuff for two hours only for them to squeeze their pinky in between my daughter's head and the, the top of the board. Oh my God. Seriously. Yeah. My daughter cried for like an hour. Um, and then I, I was super I would have worried cried for year. an hour. <laughs> I was pissed. Like, I mean, uh, she was tall enough. Like we checked outside too. You know, you can check outside before you yeah. go in the line yeah. at all. Make sure you're not too fat or too, too short basically. And uh, we did that. And the woman was like, all right, you're good. And so then we get in this line and then the bitch right there before we get on the ride was like, mm, no, <laughs> hate her. Um, That's super annoying. I was so worried last year though, because I had gained weight and I was like, that shit was tight already a little bit. Um, so like, am I going to be able to fit in these they seats? Have a si they have a, they have a maximum size. Absolutely. You have to be able to fit in those tight ass seats. Like if I'm, if, if you literally, if I get like a millimeter more on my body, I wouldn't be able to ride a <laughs> ride. Uh, well, they have that new ride now that I've never ridden. That looks super fun. That Hagrid ride where you're oh, like yeah, the, in right, the sidecar. The, Would you want to be a sidecar bitch or do you want to be like the master controller? I don't care. I just want to ride You don't it. care? Either one's uh, fun. All right. You can be my sidecar. You know, be your side car. <laughs> uh, you can be my sidecar, babe. Uh, who, who is that? Enrique Iglesias. It is. It is. Uh, whenever oh, my geez. mom got divorced, uh, her ex-husband used to sing that song outside of her house on a regular basis. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, desperation is fun. Um, yeah. Wow, that's sad a little bit. He was a crazy person. Clearly. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seeing a hero outside of somebody's house every night yeah. Uh, yeah. that's fun um do you think you're going on the cruise realistically i may not go period like what i may just mean? lose this money like if no. they actually sell this ship i don't know that i will go surely if they sail this ship they're going to have a way for you to at least get a partial refund or something Maybe the way There's it's no still worded in all their way. terms of service. No, but maybe. Like, did you see the, um, well, we can talk about this in the premium episode too, but the, um, we're at 58 minutes. It says, by the way, Okay. I just, now I feel like I have to tell you rather than mm -hmm. us just having a nice number. Hey, yeah. see Zencaster, not so bad. You know, it's got the, it's got the timer. It had the timer. That's oh, I, I'm going to start a timer on my phone. How are we going to do the ass crack jingle? Oh, you don't have a jingle way and your thousand dollar software doesn't jingle. I don't know how to make it jingle. Like, I don't know how to just, I don't know. I haven't used it, but this, this is the first thing I've ever done in the software. Um, um, I'll figure it out. I'll figure something okay. out. Maybe. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Oh yeah. Disney. Um, we're recording this on the 21st. Yesterday, Disney Springs opened. 
Really? How'd and they did go, you see the videos of like, it's just not worth going. Like, who the fuck's going to go? Like, it's you- so it's so restrictive. Like, it's I feel like who the fuck's going to go there just to eat a meal? I mean, I guess, well, I mean, we did. We do all the time. Yeah, but but no, but like like there's so much extra bullshit now. So, you know, you're standing in line six feet apart. They do your temperature check. They do your mask check and they have to verify that it covers, you know, X appropriate amount of your face and all this other shit. And then when you're in there, there's all these rules and requirements. Um, A lot of people showed up apparently without masks and were super pissed off that they got turned away. And there's this all these online petitions now about like, make us make it so we don't have to wear masks. And Floridians are fucking idiots, first of all. okay. if you're one of them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Every person from Florida also tells me that Floridians are idiots. So I'm not just saying this is a personal opinion here. (laughs) They're dumb. Uh, And so they uh, you know, they went you go into Disney Springs and all of the restaurants that are open have all these lines on the ground and across the bridges, there's like lanes of so travel. I'm watching a video from it's like someone just went in there and recorded yesterday yeah. and I'm not seeing any of the shit you're talking about. What? You're not seeing any of it. The lanes. Mm, they, the, they actually live streamed it. They live. It's a, it's a VOD of, of a live stream of them. So walking I, around Disney what Street. I watched was on the 19th. And it was a creator. So you know how I watch YouTubers who go to Disney every day, right? That's my thing. Uh, They invited a few YouTubers out to look at the preparations, basically. And this was all the stuff in that video. Like all the bridges have like lanes where you have to be on the right hand Mm -hmm. side. And there's like arrows. Mm -hmm. What? None of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Live. Live. Disney Springs is open. Who is this? Resort TV one. This is yeah. this. This dude was out here uh, for two hours. Almost three or two and a half. Yeah. But yeah, he's fucking he's idiots. look at all these recording. idiots that don't cover their nose with the mask as if like that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Like when they cross. Yeah. When he crosses the bridge, there's lanes like on the on, it's all it's all it's markings on the down. ground. Um. You can like see all the they have like arrows and everything else. Timestamp. What's the timestamp? Where are you at? And then oh oh, were you asking me for a timestamp? Yeah. I was listening to this guy's rather annoying voice. Um, I have muted. It. <laughs> Twelve minutes and fifty nine seconds. There's just all this additional shit oh, yeah, you okay, have to think about. Like you just have to think about it all. And there's all the you know the cues to get into places. The bridge. They're like holding each other, and or, I mean, uh, they, granted, these people 30, live together, so they're always around each other. But thirty-four minutes, thirteen seconds. Thirty-four, thirteen. So next week they open up Disney shops, like World of Disney and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's no way COVID doesn't go back up, right? Absolutely. Like, there's no fucking way. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. The 34, where this guy's got these like little spots where you stand to get into the restaurant. Stand. Don't stand. Stand. Don't stand. Yeah. It's just like there's so much work. It's like just I guess wait. But is this going to be a thing that's just forever? I don't know. It Do can't you be think- forever. They have to pack more people in here for them to make money. Right. Do you think um, vaccinations will be required? <laughs> Are vaccinations currently required for like for MMR? Uh, what's MMR? What? Measles, <laughs> mumps, rubella. That's like. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. No. Is that, a, that. Requ- is that, that a required that. thing? I don't. I think in I don't some know. states Are vaccines it is required, required to go to school. You there just are have some to have, states that require. You have to have an excuse. And you can just say for personal or religious reasons, I don't want to do right. it. Right. 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 Yeah. Um, so yeah, as far as I know, there, I think there are some states where they do require it for school attendance, but I don't. I don't think that is a thing here. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe it is. I don't know. There's a, there's a whole homeschool group here, and uh, we found out 
like they would they would they would always be at the library all the little things that the county does basically that you can just go to um like there's a state park near here and mm-hmm. anyways we, we saw all this homeschool group everywhere and this is before my daughter started school well that's so not a, kids- the, what that's not a homeschool group that's just school that just doesn't go to a school well what what where do they learn <laughs> they learn in the library they're just using the library no, as the no, school no i mean they 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 go to the like book reading oh, the oh i see um like the little event little things basically Mm -hmm. like they i remember we went to this one thing where they like taught you how to compost and like you made a little planter out of like a toilet paper roll and planted a tomato in it and stuff um (laughs) and the whole homeschool group was there um and so we were like oh our daughter can play with these people but then we found out they're a homeschool group because they're all anti-vaxxers and so we're like our daughter can't play with these people ah Yeah, well, that's the shitty we thing. Explain to my daughter, like three years old, like you can't be friends with these people, <laughs> and this is why. So she it's like so saw them as like a disease, basically. That she had. It's to, so annoying because there's so many people. There's like a bunch of people that literally can't be vaccinated because of some sort of condition they have that they have no control over, and then right. vaccines are only something like ninety seven percent effective. So there's three percent of people who 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 have been vaccinated who think they're safe who would still contract it if somebody gave it to them like what a shitty selfish thing to do you know to like not get vaccinated okay it's all 50 states that require i just i just looked it up um okay it's the the role of the tort law uh united states uh oh wait the the united states is on the verge of a public health crisis for decades all 50 states have required that parents vaccinate their children against various diseases including polio and measles as a prerequisite for enrolling in public school so yeah it is the, the the tort law apparently is what made that a thing that's so fucking selfish. Like they want to, you know, go to a public library, but they don't want to take public health seriously. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Well, those people are crazy. They're crazy people. That's really, that's yeah. all there is to it. It's like, you're just crazy, I guess. Um, if you disagree, leave a fucking comment. Okay. <laughs> Which I won't <laughs> read. <laughs> and you're wrong. Uh, okay. It's been an hour. I know we're on. We we need to try to keep this to a normal length. It's been well, an hour, least, almost an hour and ten minutes. Because um, because you have I to go. go, and we have to record yeah. a whole other episode. Right. And I've got things like why beef has to sit in a chair. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Disney. That one's going to be super uh, exciting. Uh, One point six server stuff. Uh, marathon. I have things. To, I have sugar daddies to talk about. There's just things to talk about. And okay. uh, <laughs> we'll do oh, all God, that. I got a really funny story to tell you about my doctor visit too, actually. Oh, I'll write um, that down. Doctor visit. So. Okay. All right. We'll do that all in uh premium. If you want to subscribe to the premium, head over to Patreon. I was about to say minecrack.com slash Patreon, but it's the other way around. Patreon.com slash minecrack. How many people do we have right now? Uh, how many suckers people. have we? Uh, <laughs> Have or five people uh, have made it possible for uh, you guys to have this podcast, period. 405. And, you know, that went up. 2,000. It did. We've been steadily growing, and that's cool. Um, and we're at $2,611 per month. Damn. And I can't actually see. Let me open an incognito. And so I'm not logged in. Incognito. Um, so I can see the, the people that are in each tier. Uh, we have 215 spots left in the $25 tier. So that means 35 people have. We have 35 joined. $25 patrons. We do. Oh, they're going to be the first on the server. They are. That's cool. They're lining, they're lining up like it's Disney they, they Springs. Are. <laughs> <laughs> they are. And we're not even doing temperature checks. Uh, uh, yeah. You're allowed in we, with COVID. When we do, they will be rectal. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we don't do day. foreheads here. Okay. We'll see you guys in premium. Bye. Bye.